the new methods for transforming computer designs into real, solid components have the potential to change the way that manufacturing industry works. The process starts with the powder, each particle about 30 microns across. Inside the machine, a layer of powder is spread onto a table and is heated to just below melting point. Then, a beam of energy, which can be a laser or electron beam, scans across, melting the powder in the shape of a slice through the component. The table drops, more powder is spread across, and the process repeats. The process can use metals, often titanium alloys, or fast melting plastics like nylon. Once the part is built, it's embedded inside a block of unmelted powder, which has to be removed. Specialists call this breaking out. For plastic components, the powder is loose and can be removed with a soft brush. For metals, the powder is semi-solidified and has to be blasted away with a stream of the same metal powder. ALM allows engineers to design and build complex shapes using a technique called topology optimization. This places material only where the part needs to support weight or bear stresses, forming light but strong shapes using much less material than conventional casting or machining.